I feeling like super drained today. It's a uh, Wednesday, middle of the week. This is probably going to be the height of our temperature and good weather for a little while. Anybody who's been through volatile weather areas, Pacific Northwest, Atlantic Northwest, we'll call it. When you get weather like this starting at the beginning of spring, you're going to get socked with some rain and crappy weather for a little while, but so I'm probably going to go for a long extended walk. Didn't want to take the camera with me because I wanted to have like not a backpack and things in my hand in case I wanted to jog a little bit. <laughs> uh, but anyways, none of this is scripted. This is all just coming out of my head, so there's probably going to be a lot of major cuts. <laughs> just letting you know as I space out to get myself back on track. But like I said, I'm feeling kind of drained today and I'm gonna go outside and get some like sun, soak it up like the plant that I am or something, <laughs> I don't know. Just as the title I put on this video probably about the idea of like motivation. I'm not really feeling motivated. Oh yeah, I know, everybody's doing that right now. Nobody's really motivated because of Corona. It's not Corona. The problem is, is when I first started doing like football stuff. I was watching a lot of motivational video YouTube channels and they were really powerful, really singing to my soul <sighs> until I moved out of the United States. And I started seeing how people can be motivated without the threat of failure. I, I know it doesn't make any sense, but there's a the perpetual American capitalist is always trying to coax, like you see the rich people, and I know this happens here in the Netherlands, I, I've heard my teammates talk about it in, a, in the way, um, but like, if you just work hard enough, if you just put in that little bit of extra effort, trust the process, you too get success and it's just a constant carrot it's all it is people are promised just work hard enough just do everything that's necessary and it will all be yours just put in the proper amount of effort I sit here and I look and I'm like I have put in what I think is a lot of effort I've drained myself numerous times sometimes I burn out every six months and I just get right back up and try a little bit harder. And it just feels like nothing is budging. And the motivational people will say, hey, you just need to try a little bit harder. Just a little bit longer. Hold on, hold on, just a little bit longer. Have faith, trust the process. It will all be yours. Will it? I don't know. There's the idea that you can put, turn the heat on to a pot of water. No matter the heat, per se, it will eventually boil. You keep adding heat into the water and eventually it will boil away. It won't boil away, but it'll definitely evaporate. And you will have reached your goal. I barfed up a lot of paragraphs to a German. He's had much more physical adversity towards well, everything physical. He has a genetic condition, I believe. Um, made him quite delayed in being very physical. Mine has been social, mental. I had a body that can physically do this stuff. <laughs> I didn't have the brain to do it. I didn't have the motivation. I didn't have the socialization. Somebody said a while ago that I didn't have the right people around me. I didn't have the right motivators in my past. Everyone had their design for me, and I didn't have the bravery to push back and say, no, that's not what I want. I just stuffed it because my elders knew better. And then I snapped at the age of 32 after I had already stopped and failed after a fashion, basically flunked out of trying to be what 
some people expected me to be. And they sat with that depression for a long time. And I guess at the time you could call it like a nervous breakdown, but <laughs> I've had nervous breakdowns recently and nothing was akin to that one. That was, that was, a, it was a death and a renewal. It was a rebirth. When I decided that football was going to be my thing, I was already doing YouTube. But YouTube was just my life. Still is my life. It's not, I didn't completely rebrand in doing all football. My throat's getting dry. I started putting emphasis on it, but with daily vlogs and the fact that the United States by and large expects someone to be a commodity, they expect to go to a YouTube channel and not find, and they see one video, two videos, five videos about football, and then they start watching daily videos, and they're like, why aren't you doing football? I'm like, well, first of all, you watched a video from six years ago, five years ago. You watched three videos from, you know, 2016, and you watched several other videos that came from, like, 2017 stuff. But you haven't seen any of my new stuff. You haven't, you didn't even, you didn't even know I lived in the Netherlands. Which is fine. Not everybody can completely start at 2016 and watch every video from there on out. But that's the thing. Effectively, since 2018, I've been a linebacker. And I still have people that don't know that. Despite the fact that I have all this video and content. And yes, Corona has made my motivation worse. Because there hasn't been anything to rebound backwards. I haven't had people to counteract what's in my head or to move me in different directions because my work ethic takes me off in a crazy stupid direction. Many years ago I thought I met a kid named Nikita Muka. He lives in Bavaria. Met him on Facebook. Not sure how this happened at all. I can't even scroll back that far. It was years like, I was, I was just figuring out about European football. Germany, Algal, Comets. He played for the, the youth team of the Landsberg Express. He played for the youth team of the Landsberg Express. He was 16. He's turning 21 now, just to let you know. It's, uh, and now he's playing for, like, the Augsburg Storm. And, and I had the general idea that I wanted to go to Europe and play. And I had all these weird little dreams and then reality just kept... Reality just punched me in the face. Now I got clarification because I didn't understand some things. That's the difference. Now it's like, now what? <laughs> I'm here. Did I achieve my dream? Well, technically I had a very high bar to meet. And I didn't meet it, so I feel like a failure. I'm not paid for football, and I'm not in Germany. To be fair, it's a two-hour drive away. I've played football in Germany. I've watched football in Germany. Um, but when I say I'm a failure, it's because the American idea of failure, of being the number one or you've failed. And it sounds really stupid that that exists. But it's really prominent amongst all the motivation stuff and all this wonderful God first sort of people. These, they just, there's a level of motivation. And once I left the States, I realized that the motivation that comes out to the United States is based around if you put in the work, you'll obtain success. One person. In, a mi in 10 million can achieve that. But 900 million think they, you know, all that. All those people can't. And it's never intended for them. If you try hard enough, you can succeed. It's the endless carrot on the stick. And I've put in a lot of effort. And I don't know whether or not I've put in too little effort. And it's just my maximum and I'm weak. Or if I have put in a lot of effort and gotten nowhere. You're in Europe. I didn't get to Europe. I didn't become good at football. I didn't get hired onto a team. I didn't get recruited here. I've been following in the footsteps. 
been riding coattails. I pushed Aaron to get a job, made his life better because I knew the system would not allow me to do it that way. So I tried to see if I could circumvent it. Who knows, maybe I still can. It could Corona's all fucking things up right now. Maybe I still can. Or maybe I'm just too old. And if YouTube's told me anything, there's not much here in my life. The few people that watch and comment are the people that I would probably consider friends because they're the only ones that stick through everything. They're not just here for a commodity. It's not just Corona. I've been feeling this one for a while. I'd had someone motivating me for years. And I rode that high for a while. But then we lost contact due to distance. And the fact that life I saw something this morning that someone quoted something, Instagram reel. On your path to success, I will bring, it's a God quote or something, I will bring people from your past back around. However, this time I've shown you who they really are. I wouldn't place anything along that lines of God because that I just hate that ever, that some people place everything or 90% of their life on God. And I'm like, you have, you don't do anything yourself. It's all somebody else's fault. It's always somebody else's gift. You don't do anything. You don't take credit for what you do. Of course, look at me. I'm trying to take credit for what I do and I've done nothing. I don't even have a silver play button after nine years. Some people have been doing this stuff for a year and already have a golden one. I don't know. 